Last week, I told you that we had a surprise. Sea Weaver had closed, and they had been our very longtime supporter and sponsor. And the show was really in jeopardy. We thought that it was going to, uh, to end forever and pass into posterity. Fortunately for us, Roger Skinner of the Skinner Auto Group stepped up to the plate and offered to uh, take on the sponsorship. So because of that, the show will continue. And because of them, our Thanksgiving was truly a Thanksgiving. And we say thank you so much to them. Skinner Auto was begun by Hiram Skinner in 1945 in the small building on the corner of Routes 20 and 28 in Richfield Springs. 63 years later, Skinner Auto Group has grown to a large auto service and dealership of Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ford in Richfield Springs and Ford, Lincoln, Mercury in Herkimer. Hiram's son, Roger Skinner, is now at the helm. A lot has changed since our last visit to Richfield Springs a few years ago, so we asked Roger to suggest a good place for lunch. Yeah, well, we've got a couple places here, but um, we have a beautiful place called the Sweet, Sweet Tooth Cafe. It's down on Lake Street, and it's a beautiful place. It used to be a monument bu building, and they made it into a restaurant. And quite, a, quite a place. Thanks for the tip, Roger. We've got a lot to cover before lunch, so we hit the road. Skinner Auto Group sets us up with a brand new Ford Flex. This amazing seven-passenger crossover provides the best of affordability and flexibility with limo-style comfort. This week, we're in historic Richfield Springs at the intersections of Route 20 and 28. Long before the white man settled in this area, Native Americans from the Six Nations utilized the local springs. In the 1800s, the use of sulfur springs was established for medicinal purposes. During Richfield Springs' golden age, seven trains arrived daily to this resort spa destination during the summer. To my childhood dreams of yesterday. Long before Richfield Springs' boom of the 1800s, the area's original settlement was located where Cemetery Road meets Butternut Road. It was known as Federal Corners. Today it is home to the beautiful Morgan horses of Terra Morgan Farm. First-generation American John Donnelly welcomes out-of-town guests to his rental house overlooking the pastures and rolling hills of Richfield Springs. We head down Butternut Road to Allen's Lake Road and Butternut Barn. Opened in 1977, the shop is located in an old carriage house with hand-hewn beams and wooden floors. The perfect atmosphere for a country, folk, and primitives marketplace. My family and I have been coming to the Butternut Barn for at least 30 years, and um, it's very difficult to describe it. It's, it's very primitive in feeling. If you come here today, it's going to feel like Christmas morning because all of the trees are going to be lighted and decorated and they're going to bring out all of their Christmas items and uh, it'll have that old, old-fashioned Christmas feeling to it. Visit Butternut Barn today from 10 to 5 during their 32nd annual Coming of Christmas event. They're located just a few yards off Route 20 on Allen's Lake Road, just east of the village of Richfield Springs. Located just north of Richfield Springs on Route 28 is Andela Products. This innovative company provides a wide range of equipment and systems for glass and other recycling markets. Their glass pulverizer transforms post-consumer waste into value-added commodities. Did you ever wonder where your blue bottles and your green bottles went after you used them? There was a time when they filled up the landfills, which wasn't good. Now, though, they come here to Richfield Springs, where they are pulverized, and then are used for all kinds of different products, including landscaping. And we owe a debt of gratitude to Andela Products because they're the, the family-run business that does it. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can go to Utica, not too far from the Stanley Theater, the old Homestead Bank, and you can see some landscaping done there with the product that comes from here. We started it in the early 80s when we moved back to this area where my husband's family farm was, and we made uh, tooling and equipment for um, other industries, design tooling, designed equipment. In 1991, we decided to come up with our own product line and so um, we were looking at uh, recycling um, glass because it was a project we did in engineering school. And we said, why don't we turn glass into sand because every community can use sand. So my husband Jim had come up with the concept and design for our pulverizer. It turns glass into a fine sand and gravel product without any sharp edges. 
and it doesn't break down the paper and plastics. So we can take this really dirty mix of recyclables, of which we have a lot of it out there that comes from Utica, United Herkimer County, and that material would have gone to the landfill, but our process can take the glass, turn it into a fine sand and gravel product, which you had your hands in, and um, take the trash and screen it out of it. Well, it's been used for a number of things. I'd say one of the biggest uses is it's been used as, a, as an abrasive, like in place of sand, because sand is, can be a carcinogen if you breathe um, crystalline silica dust, and glass is totally safe. So it's a better sandblasting material, and a lot of people are you know, really looking forward to getting that into their product line. It can be used for water filtration, you know, sand pool filter sands. Mm -hmm. And we use it a lot for landscaping. We use it for roadbed cover, um, driving way cover, and we've sold it to some local places um, you know, for landscaping mm -hmm. because it allows the water to go through. You don't have dust, you don't have mud. It's very attractive. I'm the president of the company, okay? It's a family-owned business. My husband and I own it. And it's here because uh, we originally ended up in this area um, because we had family here and we liked the quality of life here. And uh, so we built our business around where, where we were living. And it doesn't, since we have a, a nationwide presence and a worldwide presence, it really doesn't matter where we actually are located, um, you know, for manufacturing the equipment. So um, we just, you know, grow this in this area because this is where we originally started. There's a fruit of my labor when I get bored. Tell me that.